Hey guys, it's me Kevin and today I am doing a quick video on KD Studios regarding the A-League fixture for next year uh, which include how many games there are per week, how many rounds there are as well as the time slots. One of the big things that have come under fire during the summer um, of the A-League is the time slots. Uh, several games have been hampered uh, by extreme heat. Um, there have been several games in over 40 degrees conditions, uh, which has also caused uh, many drinks breaks, many interruptions due to the drinks breaks. And it's actually caused games to get shortened because um, basically the timekeepers aren't actually keeping the time properly, which has caused some games um, to be incorrectly shortened. Uh, for next year, if we are to play in the summer, I'm going to propose a few time slots uh, to tweak, to essentially tweak uh, the time slots so teams don't have to play in extreme heat during the summer. If we're going to avoid the extreme heat, or at least reduce the heat in eight games, uh, we've got to start with Thursday night, because it's actually not very flexible, the fixture, if we're going to leave it till very late at night. So, uh, the first game of the week will be on Thursday, 7.30. Shouldn't be too bad, the game would finish at about 9.30, and there's only one day of work left, and particularly during the school holidays, it'd actually be alright, because families can go to the game, because the kids don't have school the next day. So, especially in the summer, uh, it'll be okay. What I'm thinking is when it gets to March and April, when the temperatures cool down, or even if you want to do this in October, you could have a Saturday 4 o'clock game because it's not really that hot. But, uh, yeah. Basically, this is mainly for the summer months, December, January, and February. Uh, you'd think a Thursday game would be needed. Uh, Friday night would be a constant. It'd be Friday 7.30pm. Uh, basically, same as other years. And, again... Like the Thursday slot, there won't be much heat. Um, probably the hottest round game of the round would be Saturday 6.30 p.m. Uh, sorry, Saturday 6 o'clock p.m. I couldn't have it any later if we were going to have a double header for the Saturday night. So I decided to choose Saturday 6 o'clock. I think the heat would be going down by then. It would still, there would still be a fair bit of heat, but, um, and it, the whole game would still be played in the sun, in the summer months, but at the same time, uh, temperatures will be starting to cool down and it's pretty much the only way you can go without actually clashing broadcast. So that means Saturday 8 o'clock, which isn't too bad. In the AFL, they finish at 10.30pm and the 8 o'clock slot only finishes at 10. I, I guess you might be able to fit two in for like Friday or something. Like you have an 8.30 game and a 6.30 game, but I'm not... I'm not really a big fan of the way that sounds. I guess you could do a double Friday night if if you have to, and they can't fit the Thursday night in, but I'd opt Thursday 7.30 over Friday 6.30 and 8.30, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. And on Sunday night, uh, so it's not too late, so it finishes at 8.30, I chose Sunday 6.30, which uh, it seemed to be all right in the games that um, has used Sunday 6.30. Um, it, there will be some heat, particularly in the first half, but I think towards the end, uh, the sun will set and therefore the temperature will drop slightly. Um, so yeah, I think I think the five constant time slots should be Thursday 7.30, Friday 7.30, Saturday 6 o'clock, Saturday 8 o'clock, and Sunday uh, 6.30. Wait, hang on. There's 12 teams competing next year, so doesn't that mean there should be six games? Yes. And then the good thing is that there are four teams that are outside the Eastern Daylight Time time zone, and two of those are drastically out. I mean, we have Brisbane, which is an hour out, and we've got Adelaide, which is half an hour behind. But then we've also got Perth, which is three hours behind, as well as New Zealand, um, Wellington, uh, which is in New Zealand, that's two hours in front. So what that means is, for one, if you want two games on the Sunday, if it's a Wellington home game, you could have it Sunday, 6.30, New Zealand Daylight Time. Or if you wanted it in Perth, you could do it 5.30 or maybe even 6.30 if you really wanted to in Western Standard Time. Uh, in addition, you could also do double headers for Friday, Thursday and Saturday um, with Wellington and Perth. So the sixth slot will mostly uh, be a Wellington or Perth home game. And that's why I suggest that there should be no round where both teams have a home game in the same round or an away game in the same round. 
it should be alt they should basically alternate in my opinion worst case scenario if perth or wellington play in one of the mainstream slots then we could always just chuck a Sunday 7.30 match for Brisbane Raw. It shouldn't be too much of a big deal. There's also a debate about the season length. With 22 games where every team plays each other twice is too short. 33 rounds where every team plays each other uh, three times is presumed too long. And then somewhere in the middle means that every team won't get to play each other an even amount of times. Uh, the way I would solve this is there's 29 rounds at the moment. You add a 30th round in the first week of October because it currently starts in the second week of October, so if you push it one week early, it won't really make much of a difference. It's not even clashing with the AFL Grand Final anyway, or N I don't think NRL either. Uh, in addition, there should be three midweek rounds, maybe in round two, uh, because everyone's fresh, um, and basically you could have each team's first three games in the first two rounds of the season. And then you could also have two midweek rounds in January as they will be attended the best uh, when the kids don't have school on because basically during January, no school, which means that families will decide, probably decide to come to the games. Basically, this format means that every team gets to play each other three times without really having to lengthen the season too much longer. Uh, the one trade-off for that is that teams don't get to have a buy, and it, it'll be especially problematic for those in the Asian Champions League. But hey, the European clubs, their fixtures are jam-packed, and they don't get much rest, so I guess it should be fine for Australia. In terms of which slot I think should be on ABC next year, please do it Friday 7.30, because it will rate so much better than the Saturday 5 o'clock slot at the moment. I know ABC wants it on Saturday 5 o'clock, but... The A-League should consider putting it on Friday 7.30 as in the AFL and NRL it's the best rating slot um, of, of the round really. So that's what I think the A-League should consider. There are going to be 12 teams next year. So I think the top 6 teams should make the finals so that 50% of the teams make the playoffs. Uh, I don't think there needs to be much change to the final series except maybe to give the top two teams a second chance instead of being knocked out straight away. First v second should be played in the um, first round of the finals just so uh, the top two teams have a double chance. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Comment what you think of the video and what you think of the f how it should be fixtured down below and give me any suggestions or the FFA, any suggestions, I don't know who. Uh, also check out some of my other videos. I'm doing AFL and A-League content and uh, share this video with other people that uh, are also interested in AFL or A-League or any other sort of sport. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Bye.